How guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I know I look absolutely rough right now. It has been quite the few past days. But anyway, I was supposed to film this video when I first woke up, when I was actually getting ready for school. But I woke up late and I didn't have time to get ready for school. And so here I am filming this video right now. And I have a video to film tomorrow morning, so I can't film this video tomorrow morning. And yeah, anyway... So, if you cannot tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my daily makeup routine. Um, my makeup routine probably is going to change, like, after Christmas. But I finally just decided on a brand new makeup routine. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys it. So, let's get straight into today's video. So, first things first, I'm going to put my lashes on. I'm not sure exactly which lashes these are. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to apply the glue and I am going to put them on. Okay, so I know my lashes look a little bit uneven, and it did take quite a while for me to, like, get them on. But anyway, the next thing I'm going to be doing is my concealer. Um, I'm just going to be closing up my lash glue so it does not go dry. Um, this lash glue works super well. It's the Kiss Strip Eyelash Adhesive. So I think I got these lashes and then this in a kit. Um... But anyway, now it is time to just, I ran out of moisturizer, so unfortunately I cannot do my moisturizer, which is going to drive me insane. But I am going to start with my concealer, if I can find it. Before I usually do concealer, I usually add a little bit of Carmax Classic Lip Balm. Okay. I don't know if you can see that too well. So we could do that. And then I just kind of help blend it into both my lips with my finger. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is my concealer. And I use this Mega Last Incognito from Wet n Wild. And I'm not sure exactly which shade this is. Um, I stopped doing like full foundation because I'm just going to school. It's not that serious. Um, but this is the concealer I use. Sorry, it's like so bright. Yeah, it's like really bright. You guys probably can't see it too well. And I just start off, and I take my beauty blender for this, and I just start off, and I do three little lines underneath my eyes. And I do my lashes first, though, just to make sure, like, because, like, sometimes I use, like, black lash glue. And then if I, like, mess up and I don't put my lashes on right, then, like, you can, like, see, like, I get black over my face and it gets annoying. Um, but I also have, a, I usually add a little bit of dots right here, because I have pimples right there to, like, cover up my pimples. And then I have a little bit of acne on my chin, so I also just add a little bit of concealer on my chin. And I do, like, two dots above my lip, and then I add a dot on my nose. And I blend that in before I focus on the rest of my concealer.
my next thing that I'm going to be doing is my eyebrows. And for my eyebrow stuff, I use my, like, eyebrow, like, powder that comes with my... I use this shade right here because I have dark hair. And my eyebrows are naturally dark because... I am a natural brunette, um, but yeah, I usually use this shade right here, and this is in my Sephora Dome. I got this last year for my birthday from my sister, Brittany, and then I just use this angled brush before I go in and obviously brush out, but I do, lately though, I have been going in with this first and just kind of brushing my eyebrows out a little bit. Um, usually I have my eyebrows done 24 7 i just have to touch them up in the morning but um that's because i just do not i find that i do not look complete without my eyebrows being done and i do not go anywhere and i mean anywhere without my eyebrows done like i don't know i've just made that like a habit i don't even know why but now since i'm just i just gave him a quick little brushing nothing serious I'm going to be using my Makeover Essentials palette too for this, just so that I can have like a more, the mirror's a little bit dirty, which sucks, but yeah, I'm going to just be using the mirror, and I'm just going to um, put some of the powder on my brush, and I'm going to start at the very front, and I'm just going to kind of like smoothly like apply it. Now, this ain't how I finish my eyebrows. What I do, however, is I go in with a lighter shade, and I usually use this shade right here. And I don't use too much of it. I just put a little on my brush, and I do kind of like the beginning parts of my eyebrow. I just brush it. Sorry, mess it up. I just kind of apply it very carefully like so and I just kind of blend it into the darker you know what's funny I realized I just completely forgot about putting my mascara on before I put my lashes on um I'm not really going to take that risk to mess everything up so we are just going to be moving on and you might have noticed that this is a double sided brush so i usually use this side if you could not tell i use this side and i go in and i do like little like wings coming off um not because i for like actual wings when i'm doing like my full face or for like because i'm going to be like making a new series called makeup and tea time where i post one video every month which is going to be on the first sunday of every month and it's going to be starting the first sunday in december um but yeah i would like use like liquid eyeliner to do like actual wings but i don't really these aren't actual actual wings so i just use some of the black eyeshadow that is also in the sephora dome and i just put it on the other end of the brush and I grab my up close mirror and I go in and avoiding the lashes, I carefully just kind of make a little noticeable wing.
so now that that's done, and I know you can't really see it, but I don't want it to be, like, too visible. Just visible enough. I'm just going to touch it up just a little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Profusion Nude Bliss Palette. Um, and I'm going to open it up. And we are going to be using the Cozy Shade. Which is this shade right here. And we're just going to be kind of like... You'll see what I'm be doing. I don't know exactly how to describe it. But I'm pretty much going to be like... Kind of blending it in. So now that that's done, I am going to be going in with the Stuck On You from the Beauty Crop. And this is the eye primer. I'm just going to add a little bit to my eyes carefully without destroying my lashes. I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger because I found that it makes it more bold. And I'm just going to be careful as to not get the eyeshadow that's already like on. And I'm just going to kind of blend that in. Make sure it's blended really nice. And I'm obviously going to do the same to the other side. Now coming back to my Pro Fusion palette. I'm going to be using this type of brush. Um, No, that's not blue on it. It's the same. And I am going to be using the shade Quartz, which is a really, like, nice, natural shade. And I'm just going to be adding a little bit on my brush. And I'm going to be going in, and I'm going to be doing my upper eyelid with it. So now that that's done... I'm going to be coming back to my Sephora dome, and I'm going to be adding, my highlighter's almost gone, and I asked for a new highlighter for Christmas, but I usually would do, like, a little mix of these two shades, so since I can't really get it with the brush, I just get it with, like, one, like, my pointer finger, um, and I just kind of, like, bring my finger into the creases and get as much highlighter off as I can, and I obviously put that in the corner because I don't know I just think winged eyeliner looks so good with lashes and highlighter in the corner like a nice bright very like bold type of highlighter so I'm so that's done that's how it came out I really like it and I'm just gonna kind of move it down here a little bit So now I'm going to be using, don't mind all like the eyeshadow on my hand, I'm getting in the shower soon, I just wanted to film this video, I'm going to be using this shade of highlighter to do right up in here. So now I'm also using my Sephora Dome for my blush. I'm going to be using the middle blush. And this is the brush I use to apply my brush. My... This is the brush I use to apply my blush. And I'm just going to add a little bit. And 
I like very noticeable blush. I cannot talk, sorry. As I said, I like noticeable blush, but not too noticeable to the point I look like an apple. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit on and I'm just going to blend it out really good. So the, after I do my blush, this is the palette I use. I use this bronze brilliance palette. Um and I use the contour right here. Contour bronzer, whatever. And I use this type of brush. And I just add a little bit. And I like kind of like take note of like where my cheekbone kind of is. And I'll like trace that very lightly. That came out a bit dark. But I can always blend that in later. So I don't want it to be too dark. And I'll just kind of do that. And then we will touch that up in a minute. And then I also go in and I do my jawline. And my nose and my forehead. Oh, now after I do my contour, I do my face highlighter. And for my face highlighter, I use this one. And this is in my Bronze Brilliance. I don't use this one because it's too orange. I'll look like a pumpkin. And then I don't want to use this one because it's too pink. Like, I could easily, like, do something like... I sometimes like to do, like, a little bit of the pink one, like, right here. Kind of, like, going up against, like, where my blush ends. But for now, right now, we're just going to worry about the natural colored highlighter. I'm going to, like, make a little, I'm just going to run down my nose. Just like so. And I'm going to do above my eyebrows, under my eyes, and a little on my chin. Hey, y'all. So I don't know when my camera stopped recording, but pretty much I was just doing some natural highlighter right above my eyebrows, under my eyes, on my nose, and a little on my chin. So I'm sorry if you guys didn't see that, but my, as I said, my camera like stopped recording. But anyway, now um, I am going to be pretty much wrapping up my makeup on... Um, Usually, I would add mascara before I do my lashes, and I don't use a lot. I just use, like, a little bit to make my lashes kind of go up a little bit. I use this Great Lash by Maybelline New York, and this one works super well for me. Highly recommend this one. But now, it is time to do a little something with my lips. Again, I'm not going to do anything crazy because I want to keep it, like, a natural feel. Um, So, I usually use this... Beauty Runway, um, I don't know what happened to this bottle, but I used, the, I'm not sure what shade or anything this is, because as I said, I don't know what happened to this bottle, but I used this Beauty Runway lip gloss, and it looks like that, and it's super cute. So, yeah, this is my brand new makeup routine. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know I look like a mess. Um, as I said, it's been crazy lately. Please bear with me. Um, I originally didn't really add the lashes part to this because I didn't have, like, I wanted less dramatic lashes. And I just bought these lashes, and I think, like, these are my first time trying them on. And 
when I find out what type of lashes these are, I will let you know because I love these ones. I love the glue it came with. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to start wearing these more because I feel like I look better with lashes. But I don't want heavy lashes to the point if I was to put on eyeshadow, you couldn't see the eyeshadow. I just want lashes that look like somewhat normal. Basically the ones that look like lash extensions, but not too, but not like to the point where it looks like actual, like just normal eyelashes, but we're also kind of staying out of it, if you guys know what I mean. But anyway, this is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like. If you like this video, please subscribe if you're new. And if you have any video suggestions, or I'm also going to be doing a assumptions about me video soon. So if you have any assumptions or any video suggestions, please, please leave them in the comments below for me. And without further ado, I'm going to end this video. I will see you guys in my next one. And yeah, bye guys.